2012 was a great year in Santa Monica and a green year too. The city continued to set the sustainability standard with some big time energy efficiency upgrades at a few key spots around town. Let's join Ned Rolsma for a closer look. All right, so one of the first green upgrades you've got to see is right here at the Santa Monica Swim Center, where we're joined by Amy Kramer, who's the principal supervisor of aquatics. Amy, I understand the city's installed some new water pump controls that are supposed to go a long way at saving energy. They're called VFDs, which I have no idea what that means. So please explain, <laughs> what is a VFD? Sure, VFD is a variable frequency drive. Um, easiest way to explain what that is and what it does is to compare it to a light dimmer. Without a light dimmer, the only choice you have is the light on or off. The VFD works in a similar manner. We're able to control the speed of the motor, and in this case, it would be the pool pumps. Okay, so controlling the speed of the motor then helps with the energy efficiency. Uh, explain, T tell me about the uh, power Most savings. definitely. Well, for the last 10 years, we've been open 10 years now, we've been running our pumps 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 100%. Now that we have the variable frequency drives, or the VFDs, we're able to slow the speed of the motors down just depending on our needs for the day. We don't always need to run them at 100%. In fact, right now, both pools are set at approximately 65%. Right, so running the pumps 24-7, I would imagine that's pretty costly. And with the VFDs now, and you can scale it back to 60, 65%, yes. that's going to save you some money too. Do you have any uh, facts and figures on that? Yes, huge savings, in fact, not only in conserving energy, but also we're looking at more than $40,000 in savings annually. Awesome, awesome. Amy, thank you so much for taking the time to explain VFDs to everybody <laughs> at home. And I encourage everybody to come on out and take a dip at the Swim Center. We've got a couple more green upgrades to see across the city. Before we do that, I'm going to go take a dip. I can't resist. One of the first steps they tell you to take when you're going green is to change out your light bulbs. It makes a big difference on your utility bill and in your pocketbook. Well, Santa Monica's applying that logic on a citywide scale. They've retrofitted 576 streetlights with brand new 35 watt LED heads. These new lights offer a significant upgrade over the old 100 watt bulbs, saving more than 260,000 kilowatt hours a year in electricity. Plus, they'll last five times longer, saving money on repairs and saving wear and tear. Now, of course, if you're looking for lights here in town, your search begins and ends right here at the iconic Santa Monica Pier. Now, the city's already given the LED treatment to the Ferris wheel, but they've also retrofitted these pendant lights all around the perimeter, the floodlights above deck and below, and the necklace lights all around the carousel. Estimated energy savings, 95,000 kilowatt hours a year. And cost savings, well, you know it. So all these improvements taken collectively prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Santa Monica's going green, saving green, and setting the sustainability standard all around the world. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Ned Rolsma.